Hi guys, in today's reading we are just going to take a look and see what's going on with um, the energies right now, like what is it that you may need to know, any advice or general advice that is coming through for you at this particular point in time. Um, you know, if you've been feeling a certain way or if there's been certain messages that you've been receiving, we'll go ahead and see what the cards have to say about that. Just reminding you, you all that it is a general reading, but if you're here and if you clicked on this reading, then I feel like there's something here that's led you to this reading. There's something here that's guided you here. So let's take a look and see what that is. And this is intended for any sign, so it's not specifically, um, you know, it's not specific to any sign, it's just a collective reading. If you're here, then you're here for a reason. I always find it interesting because typically the cards are always upright so I always find it quite interesting when there's a card that comes out in reverse because um, typically yeah all the cards are always upright so in reverse and it's pointing to the lovers card but this is interesting you've got a lot of major arcana cards here right and at the bottom of the deck another major arcana which is the chariot underneath that is the eight of wands there is a lot of action here there's a lot of momentum there's a lot of movement in the energies i feel like you're going to be taking inspired action and i feel like it's going to lead to a successful endeavor or it's going to lead to success um, some of you i feel like are going to be really inspired with an id or even a few different ideas and especially for those of you that are going to take inspired action and follow through on that idea I feel like it's going to generate a lot of success um, in your life and I feel like this is something that's going to be very successful and very abundant the chariot is the chariot is very much like a winner's energy right this is stepping into the winner's circle this is seeing your success this is coming out you know on top this is victorious uh, this is emerging as a winner. For those of you that have been through something very difficult, I feel like you're coming out through the other end of it. Okay, and I feel like you are so much, like you're different because of it. Because of this experience that you've had, because of this turbulence that you've experienced, you've come out a much more stronger, fitter, wiser person as a result. So you're coming, you're go whatever it is that you're going through, you're coming out of this uh, difficult experience a much stronger and uh, a much more confident person. This is also, I feel like, a message that some of you are going to be um, moving. Okay, And this is a very spontaneous kind of energy, guys. There's not a lot of planning that goes into this, but it doesn't give me the impression that it's rushed. If anything, it gives me the impression that this is, that this is a very exciting kind of energy. So you could be making, you could be moving and it could come almost unexpectedly out of the blue um it could be very spontaneous this could also indicate a trip or there's some sort of air travel um either it's happening very quickly like around the time of this reading or again there's not a lot of planning or preparation that goes into it um a lot of spontaneous energy here but do not like misunderstand this spontaneous energy for like a lack of preparation if anything you know um some things in life you know sometimes it's better if you just go into things not necessarily having planned it planned for it or mapped it all out and just go with that right um, and just stay open to the adventures and whatever comes your way so there's this very exciting energy of something happening very quickly for you something unfolding very quickly for you and it may have been something that you wanted 
um, to happen like maybe you've always wanted to move or you always wanted to relocate or you wanted to do some traveling and you kind of had the thought you put it out there but then you didn't think too much of it you didn't stress too much about it and then it all of a sudden just happens for you things just kind of work themselves out things just kind of fall into place and something here just happens for you unexpectedly but or even like as a surprise but it's a very welcome surprise so a move or a relocation or air travel is being heavily indicated here in the cards in the energies but this is also you being on the road to victory you being on the road to success so whatever it is that you're working on whatever it is that you're doing keep doing your thing keep away from distractions because i feel like the more focused you are the quicker that you can get yourself over the finish line um speaking of finish line i do think that you're coming very close um you, like you're getting a lot closer to something here you're getting closer to finishing a project you're getting closer to finding you know the right opportunity you could also be getting closer to you know connecting with a special person or, or finding the person that is meant for you like finding the person that you know you're meant to do this thing called life with i also feel like for some of you, and this is really interesting, and I feel like this is why the Knight of Swords is here, there is someone whom you're in a no contact, no communication situation with this person. They're not talking, you're not talking, the both of you aren't talking. Um, there seems to be a bit of a, like a, especially with the King of Swords energy, like an icy cold energy um, coming from them or from you. And it feels like you've gone from being so close to this person to now almost feeling like you're strangers um so no contact no communication there feels like there's a distance between you maybe it's a physical distance maybe it's a geographical one perhaps it's an emotional distance perhaps it's all of the above but this feels a lot of space between the both of you there especially feels like this person isn't like you and this person aren't communicating what and that's all the things that are lacking. But what isn't lacking is a connection. Somehow this still feels like you and this person have a connection. It's, and I feel like it's almost like a psychic connection. Like when you think of this person, it's very likely that this person is pulling on your energy and they're thinking of you. And hence why, you know, thoughts of them just pop up um, into your mind. So you and this person share, despite the disconnection, you share some sort of special connection that still keeps you connected, that still keeps you tied to each other. It's very likely that even though, and I know it's very strange, right? In fact, it's actually quite bizarre to think that you're going to go from being, you know, being having been so close with this person, like maybe joined at the hip doing everything with this person, two peas in a pod, to now being strangers, to, to then going back to being close again. And I think that there is going to be a conversation or a message that, Either it will come from you or it's likely to come from this person that I think will have the potential to reconnect you guys. Because there is still some very strong feelings that this person has for you. And I think that this is mutual, right? I feel like whatever you're feeling, you're reflecting back to them. And I think that if only this person knew, if only this person knew that, you know, how much they like, how much you feel for them. Or if only they knew how much and how strongly just, you know, you still feel for them. I feel like what you feel, the fact that you're missing them, the fact that you're thinking about them, the fact that you know you and this person will always have something special. And even if I said, even if it feels like you guys are complete strangers to each other right now, there's a potential for you to go back and recreate what you had and maybe even make it better. Um, right so there's some sort of conversation or a phone call that I feel like will bring the two of you closer together and it will help you reconcile and work through your differences I mean there's no magic wand that you can wave over the situation and you know just make it all better again but it is going to take time but I just to me it's really interesting that it's just one simple message that can change and alter the course of this relationship like one simple message from them or one simple message from you so to, to the person that's watching this and if you have been thinking about someone who and i don't mean just you know kind of briefly thinking about someone um, but if you've really been thinking about this person if you've been feeling them pulling on your energy don't think that if you're going to reach out they're not going to respond don't think that they're going to stonewall you or you're not going to hear from them or they're going to reject you understand that somewhere 
you know, this person, even if they're on the other side of the world or if they're at a, such a difference from you, they are thinking about you too. And I think that they are wishing, see, whatever it is that you're wanting to happen between you and this person, I feel like they're wishing for the exact same thing. There were some things here that were said or that were done that have caused a lot of pain between you and this person. Um, like you hurt each other, okay? And I don't think it was intentionally. I don't think either of you had any malice, any malicious intent, right? Intent. It just happens. You know, the people that we are closest to hurt, hurt us the most, right? So I feel like there was a lot of hurt. Um, and I think that the hurt that was caused between the both of you kind of drove the two of you away from each other because it feels like you know you were hurting you were hurting each other when you were together but you also feel like you're hurting when you're apart i feel like there's been some time or there's been enough time or distance that has passed between the both of you right now to to sit down and have a conversation that i feel like will really go somewhere so again if you've been thinking about reaching out to someone and if you've been hesitating or if you think that, you know, they don't want to hear from you or they're over you, understand that whatever they said to you last, they were hurting, okay? They may have been a little bit angry um, or a little bit snappy, but when someone responds in anger, what they're really trying to tell you is that they're hurt. They're just too hurt to tell you that. So instead, you know, they may raise their voice or they may say things um, that might hurt you. They may weaponize their words, right? But what they're really, because they're feeling a lot of hurt, they want you to feel the hurt that they're feeling. So they'll, you know, use projections. So understand that I feel like they're in a different place right now and they're either expecting to hear from you or you'll be very surprised that, you know, when you do reach out to them, I think that they'll be quite responsive to what it is that you have to say. Um, so if you're the one that's been thinking, if you're listening to this and if you've been thinking about the special person on your mind and you know who this person is, and, you know, if you're wondering whether they're thinking about you or if you're wondering whether you and them will reconcile, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a slow process, but there's potential for reconciliation. There's potential for reconnection. So, um, and again, I just find it really interesting that like a tiny message, like a hi, hello, how are you? Like a very simple message will then have the power to ignite that, you know, reignite that spark and just get the wheels turning. And some of you, I think that intuitively I feel like you can feel that you're going to hear from this person or intuitively like this might be your reading or even not even this there may be other signs that you're getting that you're receiving from the universe and you're downloading these messages and it could be on a subconscious level but you're receiving those messages because intuitively you know that you should try and you know like their confirmation that you should try and make it work with this person or you should try and reconnect with this person or that there's still hope there so there's a lot of intuition, like your intuition is kicking into full gear and you're being, um, you're receiving a lot of messages, especially right now. To the person that I'm talking to, now I feel like more than in the past, you are receiving a lot of messages and they could come in the form of dreams or synchronicity, symbols, songs, music, you overhearing random conversations. The universe is definitely talking to you. It's definitely saying something about someone that you love or someone that you still love or something that you love to do, something that you're very passionate about, something that you, you know, put, pour a lot of your heart into. You're receiving a lot of messages around this person or around this thing. Stay open to those messages. Um, also understand that, like, you can ask your friends for advice. You can even ask tarot readers for advice. But I think what you really need to know is that those messages are so personal and unique to you that even if your friends were interpreted for you, it wouldn't be your own uh, interpretation. So you really have to find the space to interpret those messages. You know, otherwise it would not be your interpretation. Otherwise, it's not you receiving those messages. It's from you. Like it's from your friend. Do you? 
do you get it? It has to be your interpretation. Um, some of you, I feel like, are starting something. I really do. I think that there is, like, and I think that you feel like you're on the verge of a precipice. You're on the verge of something new, a new chapter. Um, and it could be, you know, possibly because, you know, we're inching towards, closer towards the end of the year. Um, it it might be that feeling, right? It might be that feeling that you're starting a new year. But I think that some, some of you are starting something new or you're, like, the following year is going to be very different for you. I think you've done a lot of inner work is what it feels like. I feel like this year you've done a lot of inner work and next year I think you're ready to put a lot of that a lot of that inner work, a lot of that stuff you've been working on, you, you, you're willing to put it to practical use. So you're on the edge of something wonderful. You're on the edge of glory. You're on the edge of starting something new, um, a new chapter, a new cycle, a new relationship. It feels like it's a new beginning. I also feel like to the person that I'm connecting to right now, you have been struggling with making choices or you have been struggling with making some decisions lately. I feel like your energy is a little bit unfocused. Who or what is to blame for this? I feel like you've been getting a little bit distracted lately and I don't know if it's because you've been having a lot of things on your mind or if you just haven't been focusing as much. I mean, in this time and age of the internet, distractions are a plenty. The thing is, there's something here that you're destined to do, okay? There's something here that you're destined to become. Remove your distractions so that you can get to, you can put yourself on the path or you can get to whatever this is, you know, quicker. The, the how do I say this? Let me think about this. The quicker you start working on whatever this is or the quicker that you put yourself on the path or on the road to whatever it is that you want. And guys, I'm not specific because let's let's be honest here. Like, let's face it. All of, all of you watching, listening to this, like you all want different things. Right? You all want different things. Even if some of you may want the same thing, it's going to be to varying degrees. So you all want different things. You're not all the same people. You don't all have or share the same story. You don't. So whatever it is that you want, the person you want to become or the person or the very thing that you want or the person that you want, the quicker that you put yourself on the path, on the road to your destination, the quicker that you can get there and the quicker that you can share your success and happiness and your abundance with the people that you love. That's that's huge when you think about it. That's huge. So as long as you believe in yourself um, and what it is that you want or what it is that you desire or what it is that you, you know, feel like you're, um, you're to become, the quicker you can achieve that success. But just circling back to the indecisive kind of energy, I really feel like to the person that has been in this, someone out there that has been thinking something along the lines that goes something like this why haven't your manifestations happened yet why is the law of attraction not working for you why isn't it have you know why is it that the person that you want or the thing that you want hasn't shown up in your life and i'm about to tell you something that you probably won't like but better an ugly truth than a pretty lie right you haven't made up your mind yet you haven't made up your mind yet. You haven't made the decision to commit to whatever this is, to commit to this, to commit to this intention or this manifestation. You kind you can't kind of half-heartedly want this. You kind of want this or you kind of don't. You need to be in it. You need to want this. There's no half measures, there's no half stepping. You can't want it today and maybe kind of want it tomorrow you need to want this with your heart and your soul and it's not enough you need to believe in it and that too isn't enough you then need to take inspired action towards it because you can't like the law of attraction doesn't work that way you can't just really desire something want it and just sit there twiddling your thumbs and expect for it to land in your lap i mean 
would be swell, but that is not how it works. You need to take inspired action. So, you know, some of you are thinking, okay, well, you've done all the desiring and the manifesting, but it hasn't shown up. And that because it hasn't shown up for you, you think that the law of attraction doesn't work. And you've been cursing that out. That's not how it works. Um, the thing is, I think you're either lacking taking the inspired action towards whatever this is, you're lacking the belief, or you just haven't made up your mind. When you decide that this is the thing that you want, like this very thing, you want to become this, you want to, or you want to become that, you want this house, or you want this car, when you, you know, or you want this person, when you are specific with what it is that you want, because how can the universe, and that's why you kind of been getting this or that or something close to it, but not exactly like it. How can the universe give you what you want when you don't, when you haven't decided, or when you don't really know what it is that you want? And I'm going to leave it that because uh, leave it at that because I do think that that message was very specific to, if not a handful of you, then at least someone out there watching because you've been wondering, you know, when's your time going to come? When your manifestations are going to show up? You know, you have to you have to make up your mind. You have to make up your mind. You have to be certain that this is what you want, and then work towards it. Alright guys, thank you for your time, your energy, your attention. Please show your support to the channel by subscribing. Bye for now.